With its throttle cranked, the V-Twin can take you on an exciting ride and leave sedans in its dust. To make one, a robot loads a cylinder into a machine equipped with cutting tools. The tools mill the cylinder's metal slats to highlight them. This cutting tool bores into the center of the cylinder, carving it to precise dimensions to allow engine components a perfect fit. Next, an operator assembles the crankshaft. He then assembles the rods and bearings to the crankshaft. A machine press fits everything together. They then arrange the upper half of the crankcase on the lower assembly and bolt the two together. It's now time to link the crankcase and shaft assembly to the transmission. This chrome-plated cover is the finishing touch. Next, they fit the camshaft into the crankcase. Its job is to maintain valve timing. They position the pistons on the connecting rods, now installed in the crankcase. Remember those highlighted cylinders made earlier? Workers now slide them over the pistons. These are the cylinder head castings. Technicians paint them and then machine them to fit on the cylinders. The operator then installs tubing that will house push rods. He snaps them into the cylinder heads. He now inserts the push rods in the tubing. Up next is the electronic fuel injection system which controls the flow of fuel to the engine. They install it between the two cylinders. He bolts the rocker boxes to the cylinder heads, then tops off the assembly with more gleaming chrome covers. The operator now screws the oil filter onto the engine case and secures it with a special wrench. This is the electrical charging system. It goes on the crankshaft. Now it's time to pump oil into this V-twin engine and put it through its paces. Computerized testing equipment moves in and mates to the engine. Next, they insert spark plugs into the cylinder heads. And these 1584cc motorcycle engines are now revved and ready for their wheels.